Hey there guys, how's it going? Jesus Quesadilla here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto V. It's good to have you guys back here again today, thanks for joining me. Uh, in the previous episode, we uh, started planning our heist for Trevor, stealing some stuff from Meriwether out on the Los Santos Pier. But um, anyway, in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and get a jump start on uh, collecting all the things we need. So if you remember correctly, in the last episode, we decided that we're going to need a chopper and we're going to need a submarine in order to pull off this heist. So today we're going to go ahead and try and knock both those things out. Um, I'm over here where the mission to get the, I believe the submarine is, and we're going to go ahead and start things off with that. And time permitting, we'll also try and get the chopper by the end of the episode. So hope you guys are excited for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and see. Uh, I gotta get out here and retrieve the sub. The Subway sub. You know, I, I much prefer Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's makes a good sandwich. Alright, let's see. What would be the best way to go about stealing this now? I wonder if I can just jump into the water. Jump into the river. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I actually don't want to be swimming downward. I want to be heading upward, Trevor. How was that? Ah, how do I go upwards with him? There we go. I don't want to accidentally drown him. Shoot. It's also really dark and murky down there. I wonder if they programmed sharks into this game. I've never been attacked by a shark, but I get, like, a little bit worried ever since playing the Far Cry series that, like, anytime I get into water, the random shark's just going to attack me. Kind of an irrational fear. Honestly, it, it's, it's an incredibly irrational fear, but what can I say? That series has done horrible, horrible things to me and my sanity. Okay, let's see. Maybe I shouldn't have just jumped straight into the water. It doesn't look like there's a really good way to get back up. That may have been a mistake on my part, but we'll keep looking. Worst comes to worst, we'll just go back up on shore. This seems like a much more stealthy way to go about it. it kind of reminds me of that San Andreas mission where you have to sneak onto the boat and plant a bug on it. Um, if any of y'all remember that. If not, you can always go back and check out my San Andreas Let's Play. Cheap plug for the win. But yeah, today is actually like really sweltering hot. I am wearing a sweater for some ungodly reason. I have no idea why I decided that that was going to be a good idea. But I did. And now I'm living with the consequences of that. That horrible, horrible mistake. Speaking of mistakes, I think it was a mistake to just jump right off the boat here. I am not liking my prospects of finding a ladder. You would think that most boats... Isn't it like a legal requirement to have a ladder? Like, I feel like it must be, just in case you, like, go overboard, you have some way of being able to get back up easily. You would think that they would put a ladder on most of these kinds of boats, but then again, I guess it would be easier for them to be boarded. So maybe not. And yeah, this is looking more and more like a fruitless attempt. Oh, but you can see it right up there. It's right up there. Actually, I wonder what first-person swimming looks like. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Well, that's what we're eventually going to get. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get back up on shore and see if we can procure it that way. My bad for starting this off on a bad, bad idea, bad decisions. But hey, not all of them can be winners, right? Can't always be making good calls in life. All right, let's go ahead. There's gotta be, there's a ladder over here. I'm glad that's there. I won't just be circling the world endlessly. That was the one thing about San Andreas. Like, once you fell into the water in certain parts, you kind of had to go swimming for a while to actually find anywhere to get back up onto shore. Alright, so I get the feeling I'm probably going to be getting into a gunfight here. Something just tells me that that's what's going to happen. Let's see if that's the case or not. Uh, can I sneak? I mean, I, I can sneak. It's more do I want to sneak more than anything. You know, I'm, I'm kind of done playing it stealthily. Look where that got me. Let's just go ahead and bum rush this and see where that gets us. Uh, there's a guy over there. Somewhere. It's showing him on my mini-map. Maybe I can just, you know, go around the corner here. Okay, don't make too much noise. Shit, 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 shit. And then, looks like... Can I drop it from here? Looks like I should be able to. Yeah, let's release the sub! Nobody see me. <laughs> that is beautiful. We're just going to jump off into it. I'm calling the police on this lunatic. Ah! Yeah, go for it. Go ahead, dial the police. See if I give a damn. I'm Trevor, motherfucker. Plus, I'm going to be in a submarine in a second, so it's not like it matters. I'll probably get away from them. I would hope. Okay, how do I submerge here? Ooh, interesting. Also, it's very dark. I can barely, barely see anything. 
Turn on the spot. Okay. Well, it's good to know you can do that. A one-star wad level, that's all they can muster. Yeah, some guy just broke in and stole a submarine. And all you can... You can't even call the Coast Guard on a guy for that? That seems a little... little undervalued. I'd want to get my submarine back if I were them. Alright, I think we can actually probably pop back. Oh, right there is the Daybreaks. That is gorgeous. Uh, sometimes I see this game and I just am reminded how beautiful it looks. Fully immersed like this. Also, wow. You can really get a good view of things down here. First person mode. Wow. That's just cool, man. Anyway. I think we're going to be good in just a second. Hopefully that wand level finally goes away. I don't know what's taking it so long. But yeah, hope you guys are having a good day this fine morning or evening or whenever you watch it. That's one of the funny things about YouTube videos, though, is I always have to remind myself, is that people don't always watch them at the same time. It's not like everybody instantaneously sees it as soon as I upload it. Um, people are going to see it at different points during the day, so I can't really be saying good morning or good evening. Because I don't know when you're watching this. You might be watching this years from now. In which case, hi from the past. It's so funny to think that you can create this thing and put it out on the internet for people to see, like, decades from now. If YouTube's even still a thing, who knows? I'm guessing people probably have moved on to the next big thing. It seems like a lot of people are kind of turning towards Twitch, which I haven't quite caught on to the live streaming thing. I've wanted to try live streaming, but I just don't really know if that's what I want to do as opposed to recording regular videos. I don't think I would ever stop recording regular videos if I did Twitch streaming, just... Just something to consider, I guess. It might be fun to dabble in eventually, but for now I don't really have too much of a setup for it. But yeah, it's kind of weird to think about. In 10 years' time, I'd be 30, and my videos could still be online, and people could still be seeing what 21-year-old me was doing 10 years ago. It's kind of interesting. And there's more and more of that with things like Facebook and all of that, like... Your life is really just documented for everybody, which is kind of cool and kind of scary at the same time. I don't know. Anyway, I think uh, we don't have to get this too far. The one drawback to the submarine, it's a lot of fun to explore the ocean depths with, but boy is it slow. At least, I, I think this is about as fast as it can go. Maybe it goes faster underwater? I don't know. It's hard to say doesn't really seem like it makes much of a difference, to tell the truth. But we should be pretty near to our destination. Wow. Yeah, it's so hard to stay above water here. Except, no, it doesn't look like it. How am I supposed to... Oh, you know what? I completely fucked that up. Well, that's shitty. I'm going to have to go all the way around. You know what? I'm not going to make you guys sit through that, because that's boring as fuck. How about I just rejoin you once I've gotten the submarine back to, like, where I need to drop it off? Because I, I don't want to make you guys sit through that. So, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. We finally got it over here. It took long enough. Alright, now we just gotta stop it right underneath that crane, I'm guessing. Let's see if we can eh, inch forward just slightly. It's like lining something up on Wind Waker, you know, when you have to use the grappling hook? If you guys have ever played that game. And you have to stop right next to where, like, treasure chests are in the water. If you're, like, even a little bit off, it won't give it to you. Hmm. I need to put this away. This is addicting. Paid product placement ads find us now that they don't pay me. Are you kidding me? I'd love if they did, though. I'd hella promote their product. Alright, so that's as easy as 1, 2, 3, stealing a submarine. Apparently just any dude can walk up onto a boat and take one, and the cops don't give a fuck. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know how they think that that's secure or hidden at all. It's super obvious that you're stealing a submarine, dude. Just driving around in broad daylight with it. Oh, hey, Floyd. Thanks for helping us out, buddy. I can't believe that you're uh, still able to help us out after everything that we've put you through. You know, completely destroying your house, probably getting you fired at your job, probably bringing an end to the only relationship you've ever had. Yeah, I'm, I can see how you'd still all be friends with Trevor. It's all about keeping people manipulated with that, uh, that coercion and that, oh, who are we kidding? Trevor probably just beats him over the head till he does what he says. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this off, and then the next thing we need to do 
is actually going to be a little bit more exciting than that. We're going to go steal a chopper, I think, from an army base. And I could be wrong on that, but I think we actually have to just storm an army base and steal a helicopter. So, if memory serves, that's a pretty high-octane mission. Definitely looking forward to doing that one. Let's... come on. This thing turns like shit. I can pull up. I can pull out, too, if I want. Okay. And let's just drop our cargo right here. Looks good, man. Get out of the truck. Oh, well, I mean, duh, right? <laughs> yeah, this doesn't seem particularly secure. I mean... Okay, yeah, that blue, yeah, blue tarp's really helping to cover it up. That's cool. Alright, well, that's done at least. We're going to get a little mission complete thing, or... No, we're good. We're good, apparently. Do we have to go anywhere with Floyd? Hey, no, get, get, no, I want that car, you fuck. Floyd! Floyd, you asshole, get back here! <laughs> God damn it. Alright, whatever. Well, mission complete. That's nice, got the mini-sub. Alright, so the next thing we need to get is gonna be way the fuck somewhere over here. Uh, wait, where is it? Here we go. So I'm gonna have to make my way all the way up there in the boonies, so rather than watching me drive, like, across the entirety of Los Santos, I'll just skip there. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, actually, I kind of had second thoughts about how I want to go about doing this, and I think there's a smarter way to handle this. So, first of all, I'm going to come over here to Ammunition, because I realized I'm probably going to want to get some guns. I'm probably going to want to get some armor, because I'm going to storm a freaking military base. So, let's go ahead and get the best that money can buy. Um, let's see, I definitely want the super heavy armor, because why would I want anything less than that? All right, cool. And then, guns-wise, I think I probably just need to grab a little bit of ammo. But let me just double-check what I have here on hand. Yeah, I got assault rifle, got a carbine. Uh, let's just buy some ammo, I guess, for now. Get loaded up on that. Ooh, we can even buy, like... Hmm. Do I want any of this? Maybe the grip? An extended clip would be nice. And... I don't really need the suppressor. Ooh. Can make it pink though. That'd be nice. Gold, platinum. Yeah, let's go for uh, let's go for pink. Why the hell not? That'll probably be my main weapon of choice once we get into the army base. And I just realized there's this feature that I don't think I've used yet, and it's probably good to show off now because the army base is so far out there. But um, first, let me make sure that I have it uh, routed on my map. Have my destination there. I think you can actually call up a taxi cab. So let me go ahead and see if I can do that. If not, this probably I'll just edit it out, which is kind of the beauty of editing. I can just, you know, if I really fuck up in a really major way, and the game doesn't do what I want to do, I can just cut it out, and it's like it never even happened. So I guess we're about to find out. Alrighty. This poor cabbie has no idea who he's picking up. This guy is fucking insane. He's about to get in a taxi with somebody. Alright. And then, given a little bit of time, a taxi should eventually show up. Oh yeah, right on cue. Which is a nice little carryover from a- Hey bud, right here! Hey, hey, hey! What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Can't drive worth the shit. Alright. Let's go ahead and take the cab. And yeah, you can either get in as a passenger, or you can jack it. Either way. I don't mean jack it, like, whatever! You know what I mean. Anyway, you can uh, skip the trip at extra cost, or you can just tell him to hurry up, which... Well, my driver just almost killed a guy, so that's nice. That's what I get for using a taxi cab. Anyway, let's go ahead and skip. This worked out really nicely, actually. And now it's going to skip us over to where our destination is. Such a nice way to fast travel. Definitely need to start utilizing that more. Although, loading times and such... And you know, no, 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 you know, I, I need to, I need to make a. Hold on, I actually want to take this cab if I can. No, get back here, you fuck! You're driving right towards a military base. I don't know if you realize that. Yeah, you're not going to get very far going that way. You know, in fact, he's going to get so not far. No, I didn't want to get in the damn thing. Uh, just no, I, I don't want to be a passenger. I want to take your cab. You fuck. Yeah, give me your cab, bitch. Give me that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 
I'm gonna want this just because I think I'm probably gonna storm this military base and I'd be better off doing that with a vehicle. So you know what? Fuck this shit. Time to steal the cargo, Bob. Yeah, and just having the vehicles would be much nicer so I don't have to like run through the army base. That would kind of suck. Although they do seem to have better vehicles positioned here, so maybe I want to take one of those. Fuck you, man. Picked a bad day to be on the job. Alright, where's the cargo, Bob? Damn, already got a 4-star wand level. That is insane for this game. This game only goes up to 5 stars, I'm pretty sure. I've never seen a 6-star wand level, and in fact, I don't think there even is a 6-star, so... You know, there's that. Alright. Come on, go, 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 go. Let's take this shit. Wow, can we grab some of those missiles too, please? That would be nice. Come on, get in there, get in there, quick, quick, quick. Can we get out of here before they jack us. Come on. Nope, 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 no. Nope. Nice! Alright, we got the cargo plane. Let's get the hell out of here. Lose the military chopper? That's probably easier said than done. Uh, I don't think there's any way to shoot with this thing, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would be a whole lot easier. So, best thing I can probably do is just fly the fuck the other way. Hopefully, we build up enough speed to eventually get away from him. I thought that was going to be a lot more difficult. I apologize. I thought we were actually going to get into a gunfight or something at the military base, but sadly that wasn't the case. Just drove everybody over with my taxi cab, which is, you know, entertaining in its own way. But that's good. I can save the armor and the weapons for a different mission. A way I won't have to go get it later. Is that guy still following behind me, or are we pretty far away? Also, that is a very nice house. Keep that in mind. We're going to be coming back to that house later, actually. I won't spoil who it belongs to quite yet. But yeah, as you can already see, the military has completely given up on retrieving their cargo bob. I don't understand that. Like, how do you lose a submarine, or lose a helicopter, and just, like, write it off? Like, oh, well, we're never getting that back. It's like you didn't even really try. Alright, how's it going, Wade? Who just went into an air base and stole a chopper. Are we ready to go on this thing? Yeah, I hope so. Alright, All right, sounds good. So that's the last thing we need falling into place. So hopefully we'll be able to start up on that heist, which will be pretty sweet. Get the second heist of the game out of the way. I cannot wait for you guys to see what it is we're stealing. It's going to be pretty goddamn cool. Um, unfortunately, it's not worth much in the way of like monetary rewards, as you'll see. Um, but not to give too much away, it's, it's a pretty neat heist. Or at least the item we're stealing is kind of nifty. Anyway, hopefully we're not too far away from where we need to land here. I probably should have just headed in the other direction, just so I could have gotten there a bit quicker. That's okay. You know what? This episode's been full of mistakes, but that's totally fine. At least I got everything I needed to. And nobody got hurt. Except all those guys I ran over. They definitely got hurt. They got hurt real bad. Oh wait, there's a clothing store down there? What the hell clothing do they sell out in the middle of nowhere? It must be like a bingo, right? Actually, I kind of like... There's two clothing stores. I kind of want to go check them out, just because I'm curious as to what the hell they would put all the way out here. This is kind of the middle of nowhere. Must be like this game's version of Walmart. Those pop up everywhere, man. I've been in middle of nowhere towns that still have a Walmart, and it blows my mind. It must be the only place that a lot of people get to shop. Just cool, you know? Access, availability, Walmart stuff's cheap, although... Because it's Walmart, Walmart stuff, so... Alright, and where do we gotta land this sucker? Just anywhere? Anywhere around here? I wanna make sure I'm not too far off from the, uh, target destination. Will this suit it? If I just plop it right here? Or does it actually have to be in a particular spot? I mean, I landed on the airstrip. Nope, get back in the cargo, Bob. Okay. Clearly, that was not good enough. Noted, game. Noted. Oh, no. Do I have to get it into that hangar? I hope I don't. Where do you want me, Wade? Where doth thou wanteth me? I'm pretty much on top of where the marker is. There's not much more on top of it that I could get. I don't know what you want from me. Where do you want me to park this? Somebody tell me. Uh, here? I mean, that's like right on top of the marker, so... Are we good? Yeah, we're good. That's what I'm talking about. Cargo Bob. 
All right, so that was pretty cool. I think actually before I end off the mission entirely though, I do want to go check out and see what clothing's there. You know, just get dressed up, get get a little spiffy. Helicopters purchased from websites or that you land on the helipad will be stored here. That's kind of nice. It's good to know that that's available. So yeah, before we end off the episode, I need you at the lot in Elboro Heights for a face-to-face. -face. Okay. So Steve needs to meet with us? That's definitely not my favorite person. But I guess we should probably go see what he wants at some point. The Bureau needs me. So actually, while we're uh, putting together the heist, we're probably going to need to do that. Wait, what? Wait, on the target. Well, I just love that you can drive over everything with the monster truck. Oh yeah, these are cool, these little random events. Whoa, whoops, didn't mean to run you over, buddy. Focus on the target. Uh, is he in a vehicle? Oh, he is. Oh my god, he's driving all over the place. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to stop him. Let's just go ahead and do this to end off the episode. I very rarely get to do this side mission stuff. Although he's driving pretty quickly, fuck. Let me see, I need to get a weapon. Oh, come on, dude, slow the fuck down. Let me catch you, let me be cool, I want to be the hero. I want to be the guy, man. Mm, not those oh, it's the bikers. Hey, how's it going, biker bitches? Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. That's cool. Uh, let's switch to the micro SMG, maybe. Nope, that didn't work out. Oh, come on. No, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to let it stand like that. I'm not letting those bikers get away. Now that I know that that's who it was, I thought it was just some random group of, like, whoever. But if it's the lost MC, I gotta wipe out the rest of them. Alright, oh, come on. Hehe, <laughs> just mash you. Love driving the monster truck, man. I've never been to, like, a demolition derby or anything like that, but I always thought the idea of them was kind of neat. Although people probably get really banged up in those, so I don't know. Alright, come on. Can I... Can I not shoot from my vehicle? Is that not a, is that not an option game? Can I not use my gun? Is that not allowed? Oh, there we go. It wasn't letting me for a second for some reason. I don't know why. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Any of you stragglers? Yeah, there's a couple of you. I'm gonna wish you didn't mess with me today. All right. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck you! And hey, fuck you, don't think I forgot about you guys. Oh shoot, that guy just got my way. That is my bad, homie. Sorry about that. Alright, and we can... they stole something apparently. Was it the van? No, it wasn't the van, right? There was something underneath the van. What did they take? I wanna know. I wanna know what they took! Was it just money? What is it? 120 bucks? Uh, if I want to return it, where do I have to bring it back to? All the way back there? Oh, I don't know, man. I might just want to keep that money. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if I take it back. If that's even an option at this point. I think I might have run over the guy that they took the money from, so... I might be keeping it? I don't know. Oh, yo, what's up, Wade? So, it looks like we're ready to go with everything. Sweet! Well, I don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Who cares what Floyd thinks? Floyd. It is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a <laughs> yeah, really. Good idea, and tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. In that order. All right, sounds good. So the heist is a go, and you know what that means, guys. In the next episode, we will totally do that heist. So hope you're excited for that, because I am. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to subscribe to me if you haven't already done so. And that way you can stay up to date on all my future postings to this channel. But besides that, it's been a blast. And until the next one, when we do this heist, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!